Hello, my name is Dr. Gill. Uh, I've been asked to have a chat today about your shoulder and potentially look at, st at a steroid injection. Uh, before we start, can I please confirm your name and date of birth? Tarvis Alvey, 4th of January 2000. Super. So, uh, were you expecting a conversation about your shoulder? Yes. Uh, okay. So, are you right or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Okay. And which shoulder is affected? Left side. Okay. And what was it you were hoping that we'd do today about that? I'm hoping to get some pain relief. I was told that I might get a steroid injection. Okay, so let's make sure we're safe to go forwards. Do you have any medical problems? No. Okay, that's useful. Uh, are you taking any medications at the minute? Um, I'm taking some painkillers just for the pain on the shoulder. And which painkillers are those? Paracetamol. Okay, that's fine. So that shouldn't cause us any issues for a steroid injection. Do you have any allergies at all? No. Okay, and can I clarify with that? Do you have any drug allergies? No. Brilliant. So I'm going to go through the negatives for a, um, a, a steroid injection first um, and then we'll go through the, what the benefits could be. I think it's important that we discuss the negatives first because obviously you're in pain and you're hoping to have a procedure. Um, so I need to make sure that you're going into that with a full understanding of what the risks are. So in terms of the um, risks, we can look at those in the uh, immediate, medium and long term. So immediate ones, obviously we could have uh, issues with pain um, with the injection because we're going to go through the skin. We could have small uh, issues uh, with um, uh, bleeding because, again, we're going to puncture, puncture the skin. Um, and there is a small risk to uh, the internal structures, so the blood vessels and the nerves. If we were to make a mistake, that shouldn't happen, but it is still a possibility. Any questions about those? No, none so far. So in the short to medium term, uh, an issue can happen. We're going to use uh, an aseptic technique um, and a no-touch technique at that. However, it's sometimes possible that we can have uh, infections in the joint afterwards. Uh, that can be very serious. So if you notice any problems with swelling, uh, heat, redness, or uh, you find that there's a reduction in the range of movement and you're feeling unwell in yourself, it's vitally important that we get um, uh, you to see um, a, a doctor so we can make sure there isn't an infection in the joint and if so, treat it. Um, in terms of the um, uh, effect on the, the, the joint itself, the arthritis, which um, we know from the notes is the cause of your pain, can potentially cause irritation to the muscles and uh, tendons of the shoulder. If we were to give a steroid in both the medium and longer term, it can weaken those muscles and uh, tendons, so potentially putting at risk of damage to them, i.e. tears and ruptures. So after you have the injection, we'd have to be careful before, um, you know, because you're likely to feel much better after it, but be careful about going back to heavy lifting and things like that straight away. Mm. Okay. And uh, uh, another long-term complication, the steroids can damage the, um, uh, the cartilage within the joint, so we can only do sort of two to three injections in a year, and it tends to be something that we're looking at if we're going to consider surgery in the future, which is something we might do given the arthritis. Sure. Are you happy with those? Yeah. So all of those complications that we've talked about are very focused to the shoulder. There's a couple of other complications that are a little bit more general to you. Some people, and it is a rare complication, when they have steroid injections can have a steroid psychosis, so they can become mentally very unwell. Have you had any problems with that before? No. Okay, so unlikely, but it is still a possible complication. As we've mentioned, issues with the joint in terms of infections, it can impact on your immune system overall, so you might uh, be at risk of more infections. And if you've recently had a, a, a vaccine or a booster, such as the COVID booster, um, it might become in a, uh, less effective, so I wouldn't recommend any vaccines for the next month. Okay. The other thing that can happen is that steroids can impact on your sugars. So. If you're a diabetic, which you said you're not, so it's unlikely to be a problem, but some people when they take a steroid injection can cause their blood sugars to go up. So it will be something to be aware of, but I think it's not going to be a problem for yourself. Um, similarly, some patients um, who have uh, injections over the long term can end up with some weight gain, but because this is a single injection, that's unlikely to be a problem here. So based upon those, do you have any questions?
what are the benefits? <laughs> okay, so absolutely. So the thing that we're hopefully looking to do is uh, reduce the pain for you. Now, it's important to highlight that a steroid injection isn't a treatment. It's a method to getting treatment. So one of the things that you'll have found with your shoulder, because the pain, you'll be moving it less, and that will have resulted in the muscles becoming a little bit less than they were. So by reducing the pain and allowing you to increase your range of movement, it'll mean that we can help you get physiotherapy, which will help rebuild the muscles, and that'll hopefully strengthen the joint overall. Hopefully, with that increased range of movement, it'll allow you to get back to more uh, function and you know, better activities of daily living. Okay. Any questions with that? No. Super. So I'm going to get the kit ready. If you could take off your shirt, please. And I'm going to approach from behind because we're going to be doing the injection from behind. Sure. Okay. Then we're going to get our injectable. Here we're using Defmadrone, and we want to check the date and the lot. And make sure we've got the dose that we're after. We're then going to get our um, needle, and we're going to use a 25 gauge uh, needle here, so uh, easily identified as an orange needle. Some people will use a 1 to 1 1.5 um, inch needle. Uh, as long as we've got a 1.5 inch, we should be all right. Then we want to get our um, syringe. So we're using a 2 mil syringe here. So we've got plenty of movement with the plunger in order to slowly infiltrate in. And because we're using sharps, we want to make sure that we've got our sharps bin and we make sure that before we bring it to the clinical area, we make sure it's not filled above the uh, line. And then we're going to withdraw from the vial and disposing of the needle. So we're prepared. And we're going to just go along the um, feeling along the landmarks and there is the corner of the chromium. So we're coming down by three centimeters and laterally by one. So we're just going to put a dot there, just to feel some pressure. Okay, so we can see the mark there. And then this is a no-touch technique. So we're starting from the center outwards. Okay. And then we're coming with the second uh, alcohol swab and centrally all the way out. Okay. So with the cap off the syringe, I've got the bevel coming upwards, and I'm going to proceed in. At this point, I'm going to uh, aspirate backwards, making sure that there's no blood. And if there's no blood, then I'm going to introduce the defamadrone into the shoulder. So in terms of the approach, I'm going uh, towards the coracoid process. So I'm going anteriorly, I'm going superiorly, and ever so slightly medially. That way, we're not going to hit any of the structures. Again, just aspirating to make sure we're not in a blood vessel, and then infiltrating the whole uh, volume. Coming out again, disposing of uh, the uh, sharp, and we're covering uh, any uh, areas of bleeding and putting a plaster over it. So we've completed the injection without any difficulties. If you just try to gently move the arm uh, over the next sort of 15 minutes or so, um, that will hopefully help distribute the uh, steroid and local anaesthetic within the shoulder, within the capsule, and hopefully that will have uh, a benefit as it gets absorbed into the joint. Um, as I say, be careful because you've got the local anaesthetic in there, so the arm can feel a little bit numb uh, in some ways, so be careful not to try and do any heavy lifting with it. Okay. Um, do you have any questions for myself at the moment? No. Super. Well, I'll say cheerio and I'll see you soon. Thank you. No worries. Take care.